Well, hello, babies. Hi, how you doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello. This is a general message, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, I really appreciate all of you and that you're here and that you send donations and all of that. You're all very generous and I really appreciate you. And I'm just really glad that you're here doing the work with us, okay? Um, the song I got on shuffle here is uh, Big Dogs, Dogs, Big Dogs <laughs> by... Han Newman kind and Cal me it's H-A-N-U-M-A-N -A -A kind I don't know <laughs> all right so it says wait a minute get it how you live it ten toes in when we're standing on business I'm a big stepper underground methods top-notch hoes get the most not the lesser straight terror product of your errors Pushing culture, baby, got that product you can't measure. Trendsetter, the one who gets her wetter. <laughs> I didn't know I said that. Swerving while I'm bumping, Project Pat. Yeah, yeah, rolling through the city with the big dogs. Fuck the laws. Lawyers with me. We ain't got, we ain't got a call. Selly on silent, but the product end up hella loud. That's how you make the money pile for everyone involved. And if you don't deserve a cut, then we gonna cut them off. My barber got me looking proper every time. Fresh fade, getting faded on the top grade. And you ain't walking out alive smoking what we on. <laughs> and you know I gotta pour it for the ones who gone. Rest in RIP, it is in your memory. We carry on. When I die, they will not bury me. Know what I want. Burn my body, pour my ashes in the river, y'all. And that's how we all know and that the flow about to carry on. <laughs> See, immortality is a fallacy. I prove them all wrong. Um, the Southern family going to carry me to the way beyond. Anything you've ever known, anything you've done, they ask me, how do you do it like this? How do you do it? How do you live like this? Why are you worried about it, though? Get, get off my dick. <laughs> get up off my dick. <laughs> Get up out the way. What you think this is? We ain't worry about it, ho. Watch me skirt the whip. They asked me, how'd you get like this? Okay, sorry, that was... I felt the need to read more of that for some reason. What I'm getting here, for one, the message I got before like I came on is... Um, especially because like, there's people in the comments that are like... And I've been there. Um, but my guides are like on my ass about this. You know, you're like, well, my manifestation hasn't come in. I've been trying for years and it's not coming in. And you bitching about it and then you like being in that energy is stopping it. And you get to that point where you're so impatient and you're not letting go of these fears and self-worth around it. And then you just like fall to this like victim mentality. Um, That stops it and that's why you keep getting the cycle of like oh my manifestation's not coming in it's because you're in that cycle of not um having the self-worth around it and then you're like um because what i got here um we have uh i'll go into this fine we have the forgiveness card um so you need to forgive you know, most high, yourself, all of that, and, like, let go of, um, times that, you know, things didn't come in, um, you know, tra traumatic events, you know, where things were stolen from you if you did get it, that type of thing. Um, I'm, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So you're harboring that resentment towards most high, the universe, whatever, because these manifestations hadn't come in and that's blocking you even more. You know, why would they want to give you something when you're being a little tit? <laughs> it never happens to me. I've literally been there. Like, trust me, <laughs> but my guys have been on my ass about that shit. And I get that message, you know. Um, like, I'm the one, the reason why it didn't come in. 
because you're tested to that point. You have to be ready for it mentally, emotionally, spiritually, all of that stuff. And that's why it takes its sweet ass time. And if you're not ready for it, it's not going to come in. And then, you know, you get impatient and shitty and your vibration changes to, well, I'm just not getting it. Or you have this the whole time that you're trying to manifest is like, oh, it's just going to happen like every other time. That's the your the true energy, the true belief of what you're experiencing. That's what's going to happen. You can keep saying your affirmations all you want, but if you're not believing it and feeling it, it's not going to happen. Um, I find that, you know, music really helps. And, um, you know, just like being nice to people, trying to just uplift everything uh, helps to get back into that energy. Um, oh, you have loneliness. Uh, loneliness. I know that I am never alone. So um, maybe like you feel like most high, the universe doesn't have your back subconsciously and that you feel alone, but they do. It's just a matter of you have to do the work also. Um, you have to put in the work. You have to understand. And that might be that true faith in the unknown, in the other side, the universe, your spirit team, the true faith in that, instead of just saying, oh yeah, they're here for me or whatever, like truly believing it. Um, Cause being in that energy of like, oh, well, they're not gonna do anything. It's just, you know, it's all on me or whatever. Like that's putting you in that separation from um, what you truly desire. And what you need to do, like, I think the reason this song came up is because he's, like, talking about, like, I just do it. I don't worry about it. You know, I'm just making it happen. Um, and he knows, like, wait a minute, get it how you live it. Um, so you get it how you live it. You get it how you emit that energy. So you being in that shitty ass energy, well, it never happens to me. I've been waiting for years and it never happens. It never comes. You get it how you live it. And you are living in that shitty ass attitude. And that's what you're getting is more grumpiness, more things to challenge you. And you're going to keep get. I have 444 on my clock. You're going to keep getting met with that until you push through and learn the resilience against that. And have faith because you're going to keep getting tested and, you know, asked to stay diligent with your belief. And that's, you know, how the song he's like talking about, like, I'm a big stepper. Ten toes down when we're standing on business. I'm a big stepper. Underground methods. Um, top hoes get the most, not the lesser. You, what you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe what you deserve. Wholeheartedly. With your essence. Your whole ass essence. You have to believe that. That you truly deserve this. And do not accept anything else. How it says top notch hoes get the most, not the lesser. Um straight terror product of your errors um that's telling me like if anybody ever like tried to make you feel less than or whatever like spin that and you know re you really got to do the work because sometimes those things pop up that like just don't make sense you're like you may not know that this slight little comment that you know at first like on face value you wouldn't be offended by it but it was like how it was said and who it came from in a certain type of situation it was like you know just like a little side a backhanded compliment or something that could like you could cling on to it internally and um like it you know it sets in and then you you have this subconscious belief from it um and we have happiness and it fell in oh jeez <laughs> We have happiness and it fell sideways. So it's like you're going in between like, yeah, I'm happy, but then you get all shitty because it's not here whenever you expect it. But that you're not going to get it until you have um, worked through this self-worth thing. There may be um, this underlying subconscious self-worth thing like where you sabotage and that's why you get like grumpy and shitty and then this like bad attitude because it's like you self-sabotage out of fear like it might actually be a fear of like what if it actually does come in um I know it sounds silly but that's a subconscious possibility that like a belief subconsciously that you actually might have I should say 
I am aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. So it's like you get happy and then something like sabotages it. Like you, you block your own happiness. And yeah, people might come in and be like, oh, fuck this guy. Why is this person all happy? I'm going to ruin their day. It's on you how you receive that, how you deal with that. Yes, there are awful people out there that are just so miserable that they want to like, they see you happy and they want to tear you down because they're unhappy. They want everybody on the same level instead of them putting in the work. So it is on you to keep that high vibration and realize this person is just projecting on me. They're unhappy and I need to hold this vibration because if you keep holding that, they'll eventually entrain up to you and that shit will stop. They have, if they're around you a lot, that's, it's just going to keep agitating them until something changes or they either leave <laughs> or they start changing their behaviors and their vibration. Okay. And we have, um, the high priestess came out first along with the, uh, four hellfires and that's the, um, uh, pentacles in this deck. I had to write it down because it's such a weird, um, so what I'm getting here, like, it's not a, it's not a secret, it's not hidden that you're badass because it says what, um, big stepper, underground method, something about running with the big dogs. Um, Yeah, well, the song's called Big Dogs, but it says somewhere in the song. Um, <clears throat> it's not like a a secret. Like other people can see it in you. Um, so you have to like see it in yourself though. Like, you know, and you can't go seeking it out from somebody because if you, you can hear it a million times and it'll make you feel better for a split second. But if you truly don't believe it, it's not going to set in. And that true belief, that knowing that ability to... Um, like hype yourself up and see like your worth that's not going that it's an energy thing and and somebody telling you like slapping a band-aid on your self-worth stuff isn't going to help until you truly believe it without somebody an outside source telling you you're worth it you're worth what all what you deserve and you you're the king of pentacles you're the king of hellfires you sit on your throne and you manifest all material things that you want all the things that you desire, you man you master it and you manifest it. It's not a secret. It's out there. You just have to believe it. You know, I, I guarantee a ton of people see this already. And <laughs> hilariously, we got the four of cups and that's, you know, not seeing something, not seeing the truth. So that's the energy you're in and we need to tear this down. We need it with the tower. You need to tear down this not seeing what's being offered to you with the four of cups, uh, four of skulls in this deck. If you're not seeing it within yourself, that's why this shit isn't coming into fruition. That's why you're not getting your manifestations. So it's time to tear this down. Start making moves, moves, start making moves. Um, yeah, rolling through the city with the big dogs. Um, that's how you make the money pile for everyone involved. If you don't get deserve a cut, then we gonna cut them off. So that might be like, you might overgive your energy to the wrong people. I gotta check the clock, I'm running late today. Uh, you might be giving your energy to the wrong people. And that's why, you know, your energy is being put in a different area, your precious ass energy, people that don't deserve it. Um, and we have the nine of hellfires, in reverse and that's that's how I'm seeing you see yourself that way instead of seeing yourself in a you can do this on your own you can make this happen like just you and your spirit team there might be this blockage in regards to um like you need somebody to help you or like it's like um you need to be saved or something like it, there's like this victim mentality with it that's what I'm getting um, which isn't the truth. Like, you could totally do this by yourself. Because right after that, we have the magician. So it's like, 
and the way the cards fell i'm seeing it it's like it goes like from a good card to a not good card good card to a not good card like and it's not like bad but it's like the the message that it is so you go in between of like yeah i'm badass i can do this and then you're like oh well this has never happened before so why should it happen like um and that's where you need to work on this like forgiveness of like forgiving what has happened in the past when your manifestations haven't come in and seeing this as a new opportunity you're in a new vibration you're in a new um um timeline so and you are the magician you can manifest anything you want you can create anything you want see how his heart space is like open you have to open your heart space forgive and with that happiness card being green so yeah and same thing is like you go back and forth like yeah i can manifest i feel good um and then you go to like <laughs> So literally, so we had the Knight of Pentacles feeling shitty, not like you need to be saved, victim mentality. To the magicians, so you're like, hell yeah, I'm a manifester, I'm the best. And then we have the Knight of Cups in reverse, which is like a wish fulfillment not being granted. So like, this is the mentality you're in. This is what you, you go through is like, oh yeah, I'm the shit, like I can do this. And then you go to <laughs> this energy. Well, it's never happened before. And it might be subconscious. So like, like you can be telling yourself like, yes, it's coming in, but there's like this little like me, 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 me thing in your head saying, uh, well, it's never happened before. Why should I, you know, my never, my manifestations have never come in. So what the fuck? Like, <laughs> we got to change that. We got to change that mentality because you going back and forth. It's like it, your manifestations like coming in and there's like, guess not. Like, it's like giving it whiplash. Like, that's what I'm seeing is like. <laughs> you're breaking your manifestations neck like just you know hitting it back and forth like a pendulum like it comes back in but then you get in this shitty ass energy and it's like mm, maybe not <laughs> um and the thing is you have to realize like i know i'm gonna sound wild but you know whatever fuck it you know time and is illusion everything exists all at once right you have to know and truly believe your manifestation is sitting right here, right now. It's just a matter of you getting into that freaking frequency, that freaking frequency. <laughs> Almost said another F word. That was bad. <laughs> just to get a third. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, get into that freaking frequency to and stay in it. Um, to access that manifestation you can jump into that timeline all you got to do is get into that frequency let go of these beliefs forgive the times that you felt lonely or like that your universe didn't have your back or that like you know they didn't they the universe uh, most high wasn't giving you what you wanted what you thought you deserved um, it was all because you had to stay strong and have that resiliency and strength to get it because you know if you're you're gonna lose it right away if you have those low self-worth things um and then again we have the bible uh the three of bibles three of wands then you're like back in like yeah it's coming in my ships are coming in yeah yeah, yeah. and then you like go buy something to get ready for um your uh <laughs> manifestation and then you fall back on but interestingly so we got the hanged man in reverse this time. So this is the end of the cards. Um, so now, you know, I'm seeing this as like, you're now that you know what's going on, you're going to be like, okay, I'm planning for this manifestation. It is coming in and I'm doing the footwork this time. I'm not playing the victim this time. I'm not just sitting there doing nothing, not working on my frequency levels, not staying strong when people try to come in and shit on my parade. I'm not going to let that happen again. I'm not going to let people try to tear me down, uh, put me in a lower vibration. Um, you know, if they see me happy and feeling good and full of love and they're going to try and tear me down, I'm not going to let it happen because I'm here to do the work and I'm resilient and I believe that I deserve this. So truly feeling that love for yourself, truly feeling what you deserve um, and like feeling it with your entire essence and that's what's going to bring it in 
is your ability to love yourself and see that you are completely worth this um, and doing the work for it, doing the emotional work, releasing uh, fam familial patterns, wounding, uh, trauma, stuff like that, releasing all of that to, so you can be in this high vibration and stay in it to get this manifestation. All right, I really have to go to work, but <laughs> damn it. We have the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. That's victory. That's confidence. That's self-worth. Knowing you can win the race. Knowing you can win the battle. Um, and that you will be rewarded for it. See how they're giving um, the thing, I don't know, the bird skeleton guy things. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune under that. Yes. So, you know, change this. Spin the wheel change the pattern, change the karmic pattern here that's happening, that, you know, that low self-worth stuff, change that, because you deserve this, know that you have the confidence to create luck and bring all of that stuff in, and expand, you know, those happy feelings, that frequency, you have that ability, believe it, and do the damn work, do it, you can, you can do it, babies, I love you, I really have to go to work, I love you so much, have a great day.